<clears throat> Thanks, Barbara, and I wanted to thank you for the invitation to come and speak to the Arsena Women's Faculty Lunch today. Um, I guess I just want to congratulate first the newly promoted professors. I guess we celebrate this evening, is that correct? So that's, that'd be wonderful, and, and as I say then, you'll be following the footsteps of giants. So first I'll just tell you uh, some initial impressions of being at Hopkins. Um, it is a really daunting to fill in that gentleman's <laughs> shoes right there. He looks over me. I usually sit at the end where Barbara is, and, and uh, Dr. Mello, look, I, I, I feel him looking over my shoulders all the time. And he did a fantastic job, and it has uh, just uh, been a wonderful whirlwind. Uh, almost, uh, it's five months, but almost a year since I was named, and I was here on and off that entire year. So it's been, uh, for me, I think about it as a year of just a uh, wonderful experience getting to know the institution, meeting just fantastic people, and uh, I am still honored, thrilled uh, to be here. Um, I thought today just talk a little bit about women in medicine, and I guess Barbara stole some of my thunder. So, I just give you some of the numbers uh, that um, that we have. Um, uh, uh, as you know, um, it's funny. Um, so uh, this this med school is very unique in the way it was founded, and at the opportunity today, we had the dean from UCSF here today, Sam Halgood was here. And, and as everyone was telling the history of all the gifts, and I said, well, just remember that uh, there was a woman who actually was responsible for this medical school. And reading Mary Garrett's biography still, out of all that, I've read Osler and Hulse, I've read all the biographies, and I've seen The Wire, and I still think the <laughs> thing that imp imp impresses me the most, uh, other than, um, than a certain character in The Wire that my kids uh, love, uh, it, 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 Omar is my kid's favorite, but Mary Garrett was my favorite. So. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Mary Garrett did a wonderful thing here and really started what I think is a very special school, which was started with women being important in, in both admissions and um, initially not on the faculty, but further. So as uh, Bob said, 38% of the faculty are now women, and that's an increase from 35% in 07. So very slow, but incremental growth. 45% uh, of the assistant professors and 44% of the instructors but 21% of the full professors. So the numbers are coming up, but uh, still have a way to go if you consider the admitting class of yet med school is 50%. And then you look around the room and uh, you see uh, a uh, gender disparity. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as I say, please, it's not gonna change at least for a couple of years and then you go ahead and uh, we can work on that too. So uh, as I said, uh, when and, and I've jet Barbara presented to me, I don't know, a couple months ago when I first came, and she and Janice have been telling me about this group and the, 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 and how you've been meeting over years and really done some wonderful things to promote women. As for those of you who don't know, I have a personal um, interest in women in medicine as I met my wife when I was an intern and she was a fourth year medical student. Um, she did, I had no uh, uh, role over her at that time. She was a consultant on one of my patients, so I didn't grade her or anything, but we met when I was an intern, and we've been together ever since. She's a gastroenterologist, and uh, hopefully we'll be joining the faculty if, uh, if uh, everything goes right sometime next year. I think she's settling our children at this point. So, uh, and, and I've seen both the yin and yang of women in medicine personally, uh, and have been hopefully uh, I've tried to promote women as best I could in my administrative roles um, as we've moved on. So I really thought today would be more of a, a two-way conversation. I, I hate one-way conversations. I, I don't learn anything from them. So, uh, and I'm really here to listen and learn and talk. So what I thought today would be best used is really just um, an active discussion about issues or uh, informing me about issues would be great or um, I, and I'd be happy to tell you anything that I can. So I just thought I'd open up the floors for questions and to learn more about you. And could you, if you talk, could you just for me, uh, tell me, uh, I can't, we can't go around the room, but at least tell me who you are and what department so I get to learn some people. <laughs> ah. 